Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a, uh, Denise. Uh, yes, this is she. Hi, Denise. My name is Gavin. I'm, a, I'm actually the head jeweler here at Diamond. No, how you doing? I'm good. You brought your ring in, what was it, last week? I, I, I actually wasn't here, but you gave it to one of my salespersons. Yes. And, um, yes. You, you wanted to get it resized as well as, as, as get it appraised, correct? Yes, yes, yes. And you don't have to tell him I did that. So I do the appraisal <laughs> on my own. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, listen. I actually did resize the ring, and, okay. and first of all, let me be the first to say um, uh, congratulations. When, when is your wedding? Thank you. I'm getting married in September. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank Listen, you. I don't know how to tell you this. Now, as far as the appraisal is concerned, I've looked at your ring over and over, and <laughs> this this ring is probably worth maybe fifty dollars. Excuse me. I've 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 been I've been in this business for over twenty years. But you know what? I'm confused on what you just said. And I understand that. What I'm trying to explain to you is that I've been in this business for over twenty years. I've seen so many different pieces of jewelry, mm-hmm. and this is something that you that you buy late night on an infomercial mm-hmm. for nineteen ninety nine. This this is a cubic zirconian stone, and the the gold is not real at all. It's wait, like gold. Wait 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 wait. You, wait. you lost me. You lost me as much money as my man make. And as much money as my father is putting down on his wedding, or has put down, and you're going to sit Ma'am, up here I understand and... everything you're saying, but Denise, honestly, no, 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 I, no. What I, I need you, you want... to do is hold on. Wait, wait, I, wait, no, 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 wait. No, 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 I need you to hold on because we need to call Victor. Wait, wait, man, hold no, 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 no. First of all, I can't. Wait. No, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Slow, no, wait, wait, wait. Hold the fuck on. Okay, can you slow down for a second, please? Can I ask you? Hold on, because we're going to get on the okay? Wait, wait, wait. What are you trying to What are you trying to do? Sir, I need you to repeat. To Victor, what you just said to me. Okay, man, I that's what I need in the you middle to do. Of personal stuff, man. You, you, oh, you in it? It's personal now, so I need you to hold on, okay? Oh shit, she calling her goddamn man. Okay, thank, thank, thank. Hello, Victor. Hey, I need up, you to man? listen to this jeweler that's on the phone. I want you to hear this shit that he just told me. Wait, wait, hold on. What's the, what's the problem? What you mean? What's the problem? He gonna tell you what the problem is. Go ahead on, sir. Go ahead on. Who's uh, this? Uh, hello. Yeah, who's this? Hi, my name is Gavin. I'm from uh, Diamonds, and mm-hmm. actually your wife, I mean, well, your fiancé, rather, she, she brought her ring in to actually be resized. Yeah. And we uh, we also did an appraisal on the ring for her, and actually the ring is estimated to be only in the worth of around $50. Mm-hmm. $50. $50? $50. That's what the man said. Oh, wait, wait, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, Denise. Hold on, Denise. Well, sir, uh, obviously there's some sort of mistake, sir. Yeah, what you got to say about that, Victor? Hold on, wait, hold $50. on. Fifty dollars. Uh, that's that's got to be some kind of mistake. So, what'd you say your name was, sir? My name is Gavin. I work here at Diamonds. I'm the head jeweler here. I've been here for twenty years. Yeah, and, uh, uh, there, there's there's no way that that ring is worth fifty dollars. I know what I paid for it, mm-hmm. so obviously there's some sort of mistake. Mm-hmm. Sir, it, it, there's it, a lot of mistake. Right. I've been dealing with jewelry. I've seen it. I I can pretty much. Look at a ring, but I actually went into detail on this one, as I do all of them. And so I promise you, this is probably maybe between forty and fifty dollars for its worth. No, no, mm-hmm. absolutely mm-hmm. not. That's mm-hmm. that's impossible. I mean, how, how is that impossible? He's the jeweler. You heard him say he's been doing it for twenty fucking years. <laughs> so how is that impossible? I don't understand that. Like, all the money that my daddy putting down on this wedding. And you're going to pay $50 sir, sir, for sir, a you ring? Sir, sir, you bought a cheap ring, sir. No, 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 I did not buy a cheap ring. I can't, sir. I can't, this is this is This is obviously some kind of mistake. You didn't got you Oh, you sure got, got that right. <laughs> you sure got that right. So what you got to say for yourself? Fifty fucking dollars? You can't, Dennis, you cannot believe that that's right. That's, this is obviously some kind of mistake, mm. sir. Uh, oh, it is a mistake. A mistake in me thinking I'm going to get married to the man of my dreams. I do have the engagement ring that was purchased and bought for your wife. Mm-hmm. And, you no, I don't know, think you, I don't think you do. I don't think you have my ring mm-hmm. because if you mm-hmm. had my ring, you wouldn't be telling me that it's worth $50. Mm-hmm. Sure, I, mm-hmm. I have the ring that, that your wife, that your fiancé brought in. Fiancé. Well, ain't his wife yet. Hold on, hold on. The man is trying to explain. I'm trying to get to the bottom. <laughs> okay, Could excuse you? me. Excuse thank me. You, thank you. So you have, I don't think you have the right ring. Um, sir, I have the right ring, and what I'm letting you know, sir, is that this is something you buy on an infomercial in, the, in 2 yeah. o'clock in the morning. Hold on, on man, hold on. Dude, you don't, <laughs> you don't come to me like that. I ain't buying no damn ring on infomercial. I bought the ring from a reputable establishment. I have the receipt. Huh. I have the certificate. So... Obviously, the mistake is on your end. Sir, you the mistake is not here. Sir, you bought a piece of junk. 
Come, so he's been doing it all these years. How the hell he going to make a mistake? Where the fuck you come off telling me I bought a piece of junk? I know what I bought. If there's any mistake that's been made, it's on your end. Where, Sir, where, it's not on my end. Here at Diamond, we don't raise your Let me tell you one thing. My dad has had too much money for this wedding. So your dog going to pay $50 on dollars for a dog on wedding. You wait till I tell him this bullshit. Chill. Hold on. First of all, I don't appreciate you. I want to tell you this. This is a typical case of you trying to pawn it off. For there us because you, you bought a piece of junk for 50 bucks. Get all the money that you dollars on back, and I get $50 worth of a ring? Denise, hold on, let me talk to you. Mm. Where are you going? Yeah, get to talking. Get to talking. Mm. I ain't never heard of that shit. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Sir, your wife knows exactly where it is. She's the one that brought the ring in. I tell you what, I'm going to come down there to see the ring that you're talking about. If it's not the ring that I gave my girl, I'm going to take $7,600 out of your ass because that's what I paid for the So now you want to jump on me because you bought your wife a piece of shit Come on and now. you want to put it on me. Fuck you. You don't tell me what the fuck. I, I know what the fuck I spent on a ring and you, I don't know what kind of shit you trying to pull. But you, first of all, I don't appreciate you coming to my household trying to mess my shit up and you want to come at me with this bullshit? I know the ring better be real. <laughs> I know that. If I were you, Miss Denise, I would not marry somebody that's going to be... Now I'm coming, I'm coming and I'm looking for your punk ass. And you know what, Victor? If you don't get the ring it ain't right, me and you going to go at it. Can I say one more thing to both of you all? But it's, I tell you what, if it ain't some shit that I want to hear, me and you gonna have some more problems. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Y'all just got pranked by Denise's sister Lynn. That bitch. <laughs> That's why she ain't got no man today. <laughs> wow. That's uncool, man. <laughs> wow. That's not cool, Tommy. You about to start some shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nick, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I will make man. it up you know, to you, baby. You know, you I play with sorry. a black woman's ring? <sighs> I got to ask y'all something. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Wow. <laughs> the, the Steve, Steve Harvey Morning, Morning Show. show. <laughs> <laughs> wow.